congratulations. And uh, thank you for making time for us. We have our local media here. They're going to jump in with their questions as they have them. So everyone, go ahead. I got Congratulations, you. Cam. What was your uh, initial reaction when you got the call from the Bengals? Oh, uh, man, uh, it's just a sighting, man. It's a blessing to be in this situation. Um, I'm just blessed to get picked up, man. Just a bunch of emotion. Did you have any pre-draft talks with the team? I know you went down to the Senior Bowl and won a uh, defensive MVP. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Um, I talked to Coach Duff uh, a bunch of times. Uh, I think we talked about two or three times uh, after the senior bowl. We stayed in contact throughout the whole process. Cam, you're a, a guy that has pretty good motor. What are the Bengals getting uh, with you, not just as a, a player, but as a person? Yeah, um, I mean, as a player, I mean, again, my all, man. I think I'm versatile. I mean, I think I can affect the quarterback from a variety of alignments. And then um, I think I'm also pretty good against the run. But as a person, I mean, they're getting a the guy all in with the city. I mean, just happy to be part of a great organization. Thank you. Cam, and I don't know somebody, if you need it or somebody, not. Go, go ahead, Butch. Uh, no, I was just going to say, some of the adjectives the scouts use to, you know, use to describe you, uh, a bully, you know, violent, uh, loves to hit. You know, is Thank that you. a fair description of your game? Yeah, definitely. I mean, football is a violent sport. That's the only way to play it. So, I mean, we're going to be big bullies and we're going to be nasty. We're going to hit people for sure. Cameron, what, what did the Senior Bowl do for your confidence? I don't know if you needed that confidence boost or not, but what did it do for your confidence, especially being named the MVP of that American team? Um, Yeah, got you. Um, I mean, I'm very confident in my ability, so I think it just reassured um, things for some other people, not necessarily myself, but it was definitely good to get out there and compete against, um, you know, very high-regarded guys playing in Power 5 conferences to so, show, you know, my game translates on that level too. Yeah, Cam, what, what specifically did you want to show scouts at the Senior Bowl that if there were any questions that you could answer them? Yeah, um, I think the main question coming in was, does my game transfer to a power five level? Um, how would I fare against some, you know, the bigger offensive linemen? So I just feel like me coming in, checking those boxes, showing I can play with those guys too. I think that was big for me. Cam, have you ever met Joseph Asai, uh, the player from Texas that was drafted just ahead of you? Oh, uh, no, no, I never met him. Uh, I'm sure we'll be in contact here soon, though. How often did you go inside, Cam? I mean, uh, you know, they talk about your ability to rush from the inside. How often did you do that? Um, are you talking about the senior bowl or just in general at Tulane? In general at Tulane and, and then in the senior bowl, too. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, um, at Tulane, so I started off my first really um, first two and a half, three years on playing an inside four eye technique. So it wasn't until my senior year I really switched outside. Um, but, you know, at the senior bowl, I mean, they kind of moved me up and down the line. You know, I, I, I'm back away from a challenge. So if that's where they wanted to put me, that's where I was going to work at. Do you have a preference? Uh, no, sir. I thought I, I can get to court back from anywhere. Is that your biggest strength, in your opinion, your position versatility? Yes, sir, definitely. What other strengths are in your game? Where, where do you think you, uh, you know, you show yourself the best? I guess I, I think I'm good with my hands and play with good leverage. And I, I, I think I, I play hard from um, first quarter to the fourth quarter. So I'm just constantly coming at you. What was your recruiting story like leading you to Tulane? Um, yeah, so um, I think I was a two-star recruit on one side, three on another. Um, but coming into my senior, I mean, at the end of my senior, I had my three biggest offers were Tulane, Georgia Southern, and Western Kentucky. So, you know, Tulane being in the biggest football conference, best education, I just kind of thought it was a no-brainer. Were there any players that, uh, as you got really into the game of football, that you either emulated or admired on the defensive line? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I kind of, I kind of watched a lot of guys, man. Um, of course, now you know Aaron Donald's one of the best. Always studied him. Um, but you know, I like those versatile guys who can move up and down the lines, so like the Cam Jordans, um, the JPPs, the guys like that. I kind of just study a lot. Thank you. Cam, how many meetings did you have with the Bengals, and did anything stand out about meeting with the coaches and talking with them? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably say about two or three. Um, in the with, with Coach uh, Duff, um, and you know, just um, I mean, just how genuine he was about the game of football. Um, he was real intentional. You could tell he knows a lot about the game. Um, seems to have a great atmosphere up there. So I mean, I'm just blessed to be a part of the family now. Do you remember you anything about me? I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say, if you had to pick something that you need to work on in terms of your game, you talked about your strength. Is there anything when you give an honest evaluation you think you need to work on most? Yeah, definitely. I think I'm far from a finished product. So, I mean, I'm looking to get better in every regard. But, I mean, you can always grow as a pass rusher. So, that's been the main thing I've kind of been working on.
It seems like uh, your, your eyes have lit up every time there's been a mention of Coach Duffner. Did you two make a connection in those uh, various meetings? Yeah, yeah, I, I think we hit it off well. I mean, yeah, we talked a bunch, um, you know, through Zoom or on the phone. So, yeah, definitely we hit it off well. Who is more relentless, your motor or Coach Duffner's uh, tracking you? <laughs> now, I'm going to have to go with me, but it's a close second with Coach Duff. Any more questions for Cam? Yeah, yeah, where Cam. are you now, Cam? I'm home in Atlanta, Georgia with some family. Cam, do you currently have any uh, friends or guys, you know, from that you grew up with? I know Georgia is a big football state. Any of your friends uh, in the league right now? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm honestly, I'm drawing a blank. Um, uh, there's a lot of guys in this class coming up that I kind of grew up with. And, um, you know, from being at Tulane, too, uh, uh, Darnell Mooney, you know, he went with the Bears. Um, so that's probably one of the closest people I am with guys in the league. From a schematic standpoint, your conversations with Coach Duff, do some of the things you did at Tulane transfer to what the Bengals are going to ask you to do in the National Football League, or is there going to be a big learning curve? Um, I think some of the things are going to translate. Um, Coach Duff talked about, you know, um, doing a, some of the same things I did this year, whether it's maybe dropping a little bit rushing from various techniques. So I think a lot of the things I did this year were transferred over. You've gone from two or three star recruit to NFL draft pick. Uh, what does that rise mean to you? Oh, man, it means everything, man. There's been a lot of long, hard days, hard hours put in um, on and off the field. Um, it's a blessing to be here, but I mean, it's just the beginning. I got my head back down. I'm working for more. Cam, yeah, mom and dad, you know, obviously parents are just as excited. Uh, talk about the anxiety of just waiting to hear their son's name called. Yeah, um, I mean, hats uh, hats off to them, man. They did a great job raising me. Um, this is just as much their accomplishment as mine. So, I mean, they were sitting with their waiting with me uh, and doing all that. So, I mean, I'm happy for them because, um, you know, they did a great job raising me. Thank you. Any more questions? All right, Cam, thanks for your time. We'll let you go, and congratulations again. We'll talk soon. All right, got you. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thanks, Cam. Thank you.